Hello, my name is Oleg. This is the second part of the video on how to prepare an image for burning on Pyro printer. In the first video, I converted the aspect ratio on this image from random to A3 format. Let's continue. I will make the picture in black and white. For this, I go to image, mode, grayscale, and press discard. Then press two buttons, Ctrl and J, to duplicate layer. Next step, I go to filter, blur, smart blur, and set the threshold to zero. I press Ctrl and J again to duplicate the layer and choose color dodge. After that, I go to Image, Adjustment, Invert. Then I go back to the filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And here the value of the radius depends on the results you want. I'm set 3. OK, now I copy everything into one layer. I press the four buttons one by one, Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E. Then, being on this new layer, I choose from the drop-down menu Multiply. Then, I go back to the image, select Adjustment, Levels, and move the slider to the right. I stop approximately here. OK. I take the blur tool, enlarge the area, and blur in all these artifacts that appear. You can use a brush to paint all the, these artifacts. To work with this tool, you must select white. Which tool to use depends on what kind of result you want. While working, you can adjust the strength of the tool. Then, if necessary, you can sharpen the image slightly. To do this, go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. By changing this number, you can sharpen the image and see the changes immediately. But for this image, I won't do that. Now it remains to save the image. Go to File, 
save as, select BNP format, click save, select 8 bit if other is selected, ok. The saved file is located here. Now it can be used for burning on a pyro printer. That's all for now. See you in next video. Good luck.